My name is Olivia Ojeda and I'm from Worcester, Massachusetts. What it was like for me growing up, it, I grew up in an abusive home. It was very toxic, there was violence. We were homeless a lot. Um, I was broken and beaten down by the words that were told to me by my family, by the schools and by other adults in my life. And so I was really broken and confused and I didn't really know who I was and I grew up with a lot of anger um, stemming from the pain and trauma that I had really experienced as a child. How I ended up in the juvenile justice system, I was 13 years old, I was running away from home, I was tired of the abuse, I was tired of the, the treatment that I was getting while I was at home and I was locked up for the first time when I was 13 and it was for running away. So for me, once I got in the system, it was as if everything that I had been told throughout my life was confirmed, that I was a problem child, that I was a troublemaker, that I was a criminal, and I was going to be locked, basically end up in jail anyways. And so ending up locked up, it was very, I was very hopeless. I was very doubtful of my future. And I just felt really low, I had really, low self-esteem and, and really I had a low value on myself. Now by God's grace, I'm able to go into some of the same facilities that I was locked up at and bring hope, bring support, bring encouragement um, to the girls who really sit in the same broken, empty space as I was in when I was younger. If I could go back to the 13 year old me who was locked up, I would tell her that there's hope. I would tell her that there was healing, that there was a God who was bigger than her circumstances and I would walk alongside with her and let her know everything's gonna be okay.